Hi, I'm Abby Rabinowitz, and I'm a participating artist in Open Studios, and I'm going to be presenting some of my current and past paintings, both in watercolor, oils, and acrylics. And right now what I'm showing is my watercolor work, and I'd like to talk about it and explain my process and why I love watercolors. I've been working with watercolor as long as I can remember, though I seriously I started painting with watercolor when I was in a college. I remember my sister, who's also a fine part, uh, artist and painter, she was studying um, at art school at that time and we went out painting together. We still love to go out painting together. And she was very excited about this new medium and she was saying, Abby, look, you can work wet on wet. And we went out, I live, I grew up in the country, so there were beautiful vistas and uh, landscapes to go and paint from. And uh, she, she was just very excited. So she, she taught me my first techniques with paint and my dad taught me and I learned on my own and I learned in art school. And I studied painters like Cezanne, who was one of my biggest influences. I love Cezanne. He studies directly from nature and his, he also works with patterns of light and dark, shade and light. And it's just, it, it builds an atmosphere on the painting, this patterns of light and dark and cools and warms. Mm. I think my favorite way to paint is to work from a subject. Then I'm not wondering whether it is or isn't art. And basically it's a direct experience um, between me and the subject and my brush and my colors. So the paintings that I'm having showing today are paintings that I've done when I traveled to France. These are some cafe scenes. Um, when I lived in the south of France, and I went to a cafe every morning and painted these people. They were natural models for me. I was sort of invisible, so I would sit there and paint these people while they read their papers and drank their coffee, their grand cremes, and smoked their goas, and I would just paint away. And it was a wonderful year, and I sold some of those paintings. I sold some there in France, and I still have some that I'd like to show at my studio. I love painting people. I have a a lot of portraits I've done of people. I'm showing here today uh, another of you, one of the cafe scenes from France. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of work from that year because the, it was a super place to paint. And uh, it was a year that I kind of really developed my uh, blues and my ochres and cools and warms. I um, have another smaller painting which kind of reflects my, more my cubist style, my background is somewhat cubist and abstract, so the style of my watercolors aren't quite as super realistic as some other styles. They're more um, impress impressionistic. Both my parents are artists, and they studied art. My father was a painter, and he came from Yale, out of Yale University, where he learned and studied with de Kooning, Joseph Albers, Franz Klein during that period in the 50s. So his style of painting was cubist and abstract expressionist. And I grew up in a house with these paintings all around me. So my father is definitely my biggest influence. He's a wonderful artist. And I think some people, when they look at my art, they go, oh, you, that looks a lot like Harold's work. I mean, it's my unique style, but definitely those are my roots and it shows through in my art. And uh, right now, I'm working with oils, so I didn't bring any in. I'm trying to work up my skills with oil paint. Most people say it's easier because watercolor is the point. Watercolors are difficult for most people because uh, you can't paint over watercolors. It's basically a one-way street. You, you work from uh, light to dark because you can't go from dark to light. You need the light of the paper to shine through. Uh, with oils, you work from dark to light, especially in landscapes. So you can work back and forth in oils, um, but in watercolors it's the opposite. And you can't erase, you can't erase your marks, and once you put it down, you're committed. So it's, it's fast and it's quick, and if you make a mistake, that's too bad. <laughs> I'm showing at Open Studios a new body of work, which are collages that I've created from other watercolor paintings, paintings that, for whatever reason, don't feel complete or whole. But I like the colors, I like the brush marks, but it doesn't hold together as a painting, so I've been cutting those paintings up into cubes, and sometimes they're done from one painting, sometimes I mix them from other paintings together. 
for me, they're really fun to do because it's an exercise in composition. I just move pieces around and I'm creating something new. It's like recycling my paintings so they're not going to waste. So I'm pretty excited about that new, that new body of work. A lot of my paintings represent my travels. I love to travel and I love to paint. I love to capture where I've been and what I've seen. And watercolors are wonderful because they're so easy to travel with. They're uh, simple, they're immediate, and um, I love working with them. I've traveled to Hawaii and Asia, and some of these paintings that I'm showing are paintings that um, I did when I was in Hawaii. I've spent a lot of time there, especially on the big island. And there's a beautiful road called the Red Road. It's in Pahoa, south of Hilo, right along the coast. And I enjoy that area, particularly this special road, because it uh, goes in and out of these tree tunnels, and it goes along the coast. It's a black lava coast, and it's spectacularly beautiful. And the road used to be red. They actually paved it using red cinder from the uh, volcano. So unfortunately, it's no longer red, but I paint it red because I'm very yeah. nostalgic. <laughs> In my paintings, if you look closely, you'll see just the most beautiful moments between drawing, I leave line in my painting, and paint, and the beautiful subtleties of transparent overlays, and this kind of uh, um, a reverence for art and nature at the same time. I think that shows through in all my art.